meteorologist Indra Peterson joins us. And Indra, you're tracking both of these storms tonight? Yeah, absolutely. We're watching a strong coastal storm right now already in through the Carolinas. Now, as we track there, it's going to be spreading even to the south and the northeast. I don't think it's a change anyone wants. Yeah, negative 19 in Duluth. That is cold. I'm going to say no. <laughs> All right, Indra, thanks so much. Hey, how beautiful was it yesterday, especially in New York City, right? We were seeing temperatures near the 70s. It's all thanks to this beautiful dome of high pressure. But I want you to watch what's going to happen. Look at this change that's already starting to develop. By this afternoon, you're going to be looking at places like Maine, 77 degrees. And poor D.C., you have struggled all May. You're going to be dropping down to the 50s. Now, if you don't like cold and rainy weather, you don't like lows. A low is exactly what's developing. It's going to take over as we go through the weekend. It's going to win the battle. Look at these cool temperatures. All that cold air from Canada is going to be diving back in, and this pattern will be persistent for the whole weekend. Take a look up. There's that low. It's going to hang here, but I do want to show you something, okay? It's been kind of mild. It's been cool. This pattern is going to be completely changing as we go towards by the middle of next week. In fact, we're going to be talking about above normal temperatures into the northeast and even really all the way far out west. You're going to be talking about some record potentially breaking heat just a couple of days away. That's a good big picture. Here's a look at your local weather. All right, this weather is brought to you by Prudential. So keep in mind, maybe by the middle of this week, 90s in New York City. Is it really wow. a dome of high pressure? Yeah, I was going to say. It's, it's a dome. You like got a blocking high. You know, we want to knock that like guy down. Just like that. Just like that. I mean, you can Not just see it. Not a football dome. <laughs> Not a retractable like, roof. Like a retractable okay? dome of high pressure. <laughs> Teaching new terms every day. <laughs> I'm paying attention here. I like I'm it. Learning. I'm loving this. Loving Weather nerd. Good morning. That's correct. They're seeing a little bit of a lull right now, but a series of storms still expected to make its way into the West Coast. But remember, that is not even the big story. We have to take a look at the setup that is now going to be occurring for the middle of the week. Remember, winds go clockwise around a low. They go counterclockwise around, excuse me, clockwise around the high. So now you have two pinwheels sitting out here pulling in all this moisture right out of the Gulf. As if that was not bad enough, now you have an atmospheric river or a bullseye sitting right here. So all this moisture, as these systems stall out, are going to be sitting right in the middle of the country. We're talking about five to even 10 inches of rain in areas that are already flooded.